the, uh, the ventilators that are still with the cancer so that we have a lot of them. There is also another partner who was to give us two. Was that the Minister of Health? Okay. So, is in there to congress a sila in there to be part of the cancer to part of the I think we will be making very, very good progress, isn't it? Yes, we are there. We don't want to be left behind. So, the support that you have received today is valued at uh, Kenya shillings. 10 million. That is what I've seen here. And kwa niaba yangu na kwa niaba ya watu wote wa Migori County or kwa na Ted kindly convey our appreciation to you said and the government of the great people of America. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my conviction that uh, such support shall significantly supplement our county support for the containment of the pandemic. Join me, ladies and gentlemen, therefore, at this particular uh, point to acknowledge the strong support from the U.S. government. And it is not only this. We have been receiving tremendous support from the government of the United States of America. So in your hearts, even if you don't clap or make any move, but in your hearts, I think uh, just join me in appreciating that that kind of support. And let's pray that we shall continue. Milele na milele. Critical pillar among the other five pillars of health service delivery. And when this pillar is weakened, as it is presently, uh, as a result of uh, an industrial action, the entire health system cannot stand. And uh, at, at this juncture, just allow me to make some uh, uh, of the count. Personally, I've been praying and encouraging my team to open all our doors for dialogue. And the reports they have been giving me is that we have done everything possible. We have tried to sort out all the grievances that were raised by our health workers. And that uh, what we are now witnessing really should not be something that is affecting the county government of Migori. And kindly, our health workers. When you down your tools, but as the management of the county, we have been calling you for our even closed door meetings, even open meetings, and agreeing on each and every aspect that you have been raising. I don't see why we must now be pulled back by the shortcomings from other counties that have got their unique challenges. So kindly reconsider your stance. What is it that you want me to do as your servant, as your governor, so that, so that you can assume one? Right? Just, just look at all the grievances you, are, you have been raising. If it is promotion, we have been doing those promotions. If it is additional staff, we have really employed since uh, uh, 2013. Just look at the statistics. If it is improvement in terms of the physical facilities, we have done a lot of that. If it is re redesignation, we have done that. So just let us know what you want us to do. And I want you to look at yourself as the workers of Migori County. And tell me that now angalia we wana ubadu, hapa ndiyo, uja fulfill. Na niku ready kabis. Recently, you are talking about the NHIF or coverage. And we told you, tungoja tu kidogo. You said, subiri tu kidogo. Hii tumeweka kwa budget. Na kwa kweli hiyo kitu hiko kwa budget. That was sorted out. So, 
You say that uh, you are on strike, some are setting their strike, some have been there, that you want to be in solidarity with your other colleagues who have their unique situations. I think it's not fair to the county government of Migori, and it is also not fair to the people of this county. Uh, for the interest of our guests today, our COVID-19 statistics cumulatively are as follows. 886 out of 12,052 samples that have been tested have turned out to be positive. We have tested 12,052 and out of that 886 have turned out to be positive. Now, in terms of screening, cumulatively we have screened 4,258,322 persons. In terms of mortalities, we have lost 12 people. And as we speak, we have 250 persons enrolled under home-based care. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, as we celebrate our progress, we must not forget to, re to reassess our challenges and consequently redouble our efforts to ensure that